What is going on, guys? Let's test this audio. What is going on, guys? So yeah, I'm back into Sean. I'm gonna see if I can try and get the um, the staff of the worms, which I haven't actually got yet. So I'm looking to get that. I'm gonna be doing some other stuff as well. Just thought I would um, try and get me mitts on this, as I haven't got it yet. I've been struggling a little bit. Probably done about 30 dolphins, so nothing like crazy, but. I thought I would have had it now, to be honest. Um, it's a nice staff in it, so I'm definitely going to be trying to get this. And like I said, I will be doing some other stuff as well. So come join me. Has everyone found the, um, the true flame yet? Because I've heard that it's been dropping like really easy, and I said I'd, I didn't have trouble either. So, so much for an extremely rare drop. That thing drops easy. Well, I've, well, I've heard a couple of people struggle, but in general, um, you know, pretty, pretty much it's an easy drop. You know, give or take. I've heard people say, um, you know, like I've had it in the first couple of casts even as well. Right. I don't know just checking the sound. I don't know if um what Zos were even thinking to be honest, like why it says extremely rare drop and it's dropping like everyone's got it basically already. They wanted to farm it. If you wanted to actively farm that you probably already got it. So you know that's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah I haven't got the, the Dalman one yet so uh but yeah, that's a little tip for you guys. Um, definitely do the Dolmans for the anniversary boxes because if you get the three bosses, it drops three boxes in one hit, which is I'm pretty sure it's probably not meant to do. Uh, so it's a bit crazy. Oh, I've got the uh, the gold one again. So yeah, I think they dropped from the chest, so um, the Staff of the Worms, that's, uh, that is a nice staff. Again, it's like that they've just picked all sort of like nostalgia sort of items that people want. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a nice one to have. Nice Necromancer staff. Um, but yeah, like I said, I thought it would have dropped by now, and I had it. Have I got my, my stupid bird? Welcome everyone to the stream. Has anyone found the true flame sword yet? You found it nice and easy. It is a nice sword to have. I'm definitely going to be using the style page. Um, I don't know why they... Um, but like again, what annoyed me last stream was that it's bound. I don't know why they've made it bound. A lot of people are annoyed as me as well that they wanted to make money off of it as well. So I don't know why they did that. A strange move, to be honest. Because I would, I would have been farming pages for that, you know. But and mind you, it's quite an easy drop. So you know, probably even though they said it was an extremely hard drop, you know, it's been dropping relatively easy. So. Um, you know, I suppose even if it was tradable, it's not going to be worth like the 10 million that I was hoping for. It's probably going to be worth a couple hundred K. 
um, after the event might go up to you know good money again. But so yes, yeah, a shame really. So really, just farming these is for your own personal gain. Um, but yeah, I definitely just want to get the staff. I'm not done. What's the other ones like? I've seen the Somerset Geesier one. It's like a, um, a slowed one, isn't it? It's not too bad, but I don't know if I really want that. And the other ones, I don't know. I'm not desperate to get, you know what I mean? I just wish you could buy them. To having to physically farm them, or I don't know about that. I might just leave it at that with this one. Like I might get it on the others on PC or something, just like randomly, but. I say randomly, you'll do a specific um, thing to actually farm them, aren't you? So, who knows? Who knows? I might do it. I said it's two weeks, quite a long event anyway. I've got to make sure I eat my cake as well. But yeah, the Jubilee boxes are pretty consistent in Deshaun. Definitely come here if you want to farm. You're going for the Somerset stuff? I don't know, like. Um, what do you think? Is it like... I think it's quite a nice staff. I think the staff of the worms might be a tad better. Oh, you don't you do this to me. I mean, I only, like I said, I only want to farm the things, because you, obviously you can't make money off of them. So I only want to farm... Do you know what? I might do a stream of the... Um, doing the dungeon healing which I ain't done before the drop rates are dreadful are they farm for 9 hours nothing oh my god ok you probably put me off doing that anyway then um, like I said I wasn't super hyped for the the Somerset Geesey stuff it is nice it's a slow stuff it is quite nice I suppose but I think the Necromancer stuff you know is like a go to nice one the fishing one is worse you ain't had it Did you see my um, Relentless Gains? Did you see um, my last stream of the... I pulled the True Flame out pretty quickly. Um, so if you need some tips, I've got some for you. Um, unless you already know the tips, that is. Yeah, so um, I went to... The last stream I just did, I went to Rothgar. And if you go to Rothgar, it's the best place. And... That Nicolava's kennel. Just go in there, there's three little fishing holes, you ain't even got to move, and you can just farm super quick. Um, I got about six row in an hour somehow, and I got it dropped on about the 50 or 60 of fish. I was using the Sharper's Night Companion as well, because um, someone said because it does speed up the uh, bite time, and also I had the uh, Real Technique CP on as well. Um, no point in the stuff when it's bound and worth nothing, yeah, like, it is a real shame. The only thing I can say is that you can make gold from is obviously you're getting the anniversary jubilee boxes. So, if you want the staff, you get the staff for yourself and you're going to make money with the boxes and the motives drops. But yeah, it's a real shame. They should have been, they should have been tradable. I think that's outrageous to be honest why they're not tradable so I would have farmed these for everything you get crimson oath chest mode we've got four of them and made 900k on oh, nice one mate yeah like the chest motives yeah that, that's so you, it's a, that's the good thing about this event even though um, you know the things I thought were going to be tradable and worth lots of money you can't make money on they're just for your own account you know like personal gain you can still make money with the boxes in it so and doing these dolmens is, is a nice way but i wouldn't recommend delicate desert because um, you might not get the tags you need because there might be too many players because you have to do a sufficient damage on the boss so just be wary of that um so deshaun i prefer um, and they're just as good as Alicair does. I don't know why more people don't come here. Um, you do get the odd people. The boxes are a little broken, especially again, alchemy stuff and gold, so the guild store prices are all messed up. Yeah, like, 
I would definitely say the boxes are pretty generous. I've got like 20 dragon blood. Um, or, you know, I thought that's quite dear, the dragon stuff, isn't it? The blood, or the dragon, I got 20 and I won it. I was like, whoa, I swear these are dear. So yeah, the alchemy stuff is messed up, like you said. Um, nice for the individual player, obviously, but um, yeah, it's gonna, they are generous boxes. They're without that, much better than the jesters, much better than a lot of the event boxes, to be honest. So yeah, you need to get the tag on the boss. You get a box from the. You get a box from the boss. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm 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 struggling now. I would say I'm starting to struggle with the staff of the worms. Um, probably about thirty or forty diamonds in nothing. That's a bit crazy. Um, but again. Why did they say the fishing one's extremely rare and that's been dropping pretty consistently and the other ones are not mentioned as extremely rare drops, it just said chance to drop and they ain't dropping for no one barely. Like you said in particular the geesier one, um, the slowed staff which is, yeah it does look quite nice but they are going to be a pain at them, I mean diamonds are easy, you know what I mean, you, you, need, you need help usually on the geesiers, the bosses are a bit strong. Uh, there's people I know who have 10 ult account for 20 characters each doing rich and they've got a lot of dragon blood yeah it's just yeah if you're I used to do the all the crafting you know and mass farm the boxes I just like to do it a bit more casual now but yeah if you if you know what you're doing with all the dailies and that you can pull some alchemy yeah you're going to get a lot of nice stuff fast Uh, they've broken Sork, I reckon. Yeah, Sork is just crazy, mate, on PvP now. I really thought it was going to be just, like, A tier, you know, go up a bit. But it's, it's S tier, without a doubt. You know, it's Nightblade level. What are we farming? I'm farming the Staff of the Worms. Um, and I'm struggling. But the good thing is you get in the event boxes, so it's all good. There's some other player here with me as well, farming. And you go, look, three, look, watch this, three bosses. So I get the tags on the bosses. And three Jubilee boxes in one hit. Is that not sweet or what? I don't even pick up my boxes, they're just oh, inventory, mate. Killing me. Three boxes in one hit, how about that? I wouldn't say it's an exploit, is it? I think it's just an intended thing, or maybe an overlooked thing. Mate, I've got ESO Plus and I'm still struggling with a loot. Oh, that flapping bird, mate, on my head. Right, let's just quickly. Yeah, but the Staff of the Worms is, is a nice staff and it, um, nice nostalgia staff and I do want it. Hopefully it will encourage me to get a, sort out the, another Necromancer build. Because I do want to do a few more builds for that. But yeah, it's nice when you get the three bosses on the diamonds, you get three boxes. They destroyed Mage Cry. Yeah, it's just unnecessary. Um, you can still make good builds, it's just, it's hard, it's um, not, not so simple. With other classes you can just chuck on like average stuff and still do pretty well to be honest you know like night blade you can just chuck on training gear and you're still going to shred people to bits you know what i mean like it's 
but necro yeah you need to know what you're doing and i think probably the best way is to go like a, a you know like onslaught sort of stamina based i don't magic or i'd like to think there's a good way of doing it heavy attack um I don't even know these characters. Why is it? I hate when you look at people and you can't even see their name. I guess their name. Salt was really broken, and they make it even more broken. Yeah, it's just like the hit, the burst heal is is just pushed into just. I don't. I don't know if it's just just the burst heal has made it good, but um. Oh, I'm doing it for the transmute crystals, mate. I know you're not getting many. Ethereal dust. Oh, ethereal dust ain't too bad. I swear I've read somewhere as well that um oh, where's my staff? You got my staff for me. Did I even pick up that chest I did? Ethereal dust ain't bad. Not too bad. I don't think they're worth tons of money. Oh you know they are, aren't they? It's not the diminished one, is it? Mate, these boxes are generous. I run my Coro DK still shred through them. The fuel dust is really expensive. Oh, sweet, yeah. I was just thinking the diminished one. I'm thinking I ain't worth too much, is it? But <coughs> yeah, that's pr that's pretty good. Yeah, they're generous boxes, mate. So yeah, if you want to make money on the event farm, I'd recommend. Yeah, you can farm for the true flame um, farm for the true flame and you can get lots of perfect row which always sell well in that location I mentioned in Rothgar or yeah just do diamonds into Sharm you get plenty of event boxes and farm for the staff is really sweet But yeah, definitely want to do some more necro builds without a doubt. I think it's the most funnest visual class, like all the cool, um, you know, like necromancer, undead sort of Halloween themed uh, skills. I really like that. I just wish that I don't know what they was doing with the stalking blast bones. I mean, the you know the the magical one. They changed it all. I started thinking. You know, it's just weird, isn't it? But that's us for you, isn't it? They're going to do what they're going to do. And you just got to roll with it, and you and make things work. That's how, that's how they operate. Uh, what's your suggestion on a bomber? And are they rushing in on dark events or a werewolf bomber? Um, I used to. I have done nightblade bomber. Uh, and I still have it actually loaded in my character thing. Um, I normally run like Vicious Death, Old School, and was it Vicious Death? I'm trying to think that. I've I done a one bar as well. One I might release that because um, two bar I'm not keen on on the bombing, but obviously it's probably be more effective slightly. Um, but yeah, vicious death. Obviously, you've got to have on. I know a lot of people use dark convergence. I've never actually used that. I've always wanted to, and just never have. I think it's pretty better on the. Well, I don't know about better, but it's definitely good on the necro bombers. Um, the YouTuber, what's his name? Grim four one two zero. He's a brilliant uh, necro bomber. Uh, but yeah, definitely vicious death. Um, and Dark Convergence is a nice combo. Mechanical Acuity, again, I'm not a massive fan of that. Probably nice with a Khajiit. Can't beat a Colossus Necro Bomber. Yeah, do you know who I'm on about? Grim, he's on Xbox EU. He's on YouTube as well. He, he's um, he's really good. I mean, I've, he's probably like some of the best bombs I've ever seen. He's really good. Yeah, I've met him, yeah, he's, um, I don't know how he does what he does, it's just, I've seen him wipe out like 40 people, like, I've done good bombs, uh, with my Nightblade one, 
like probably 20 kills is probably my best but he's really done some nutty runs big time but I think that's where Necro shine at the moment is um, obviously if you put the meta on it's still going to work nice you know like the master's dual wield or a like a bonkro you know using full penetration doing lining up a crazy burst uh, it's still going to be a nice build and obviously yeah the necro bombers are strong but it might be a bit difficult if um, for beginners a bit tricky do you know what I mean um, let's get rid of these pins quickly I'm not too bothered about the ads oh yeah have you come across a regular circle called okay, chaos yeah oh yeah I know him well well so I know him well I've, I've seen him plenty I've tried to kill him plenty of times I have killed him a few times even with a bash build because um, he's a zerg and he's like a zerg leader and he's always dominated the Cyrodiil on Xbox EU for ages because I always played Daggerfall so I'm always up against him mate this loot drops getting on my nerves um, I really need to sort the inventory out Pull the pin, come pull the pin for me. Just gotta do. Right, I'm just gonna have to sort this loot out quickly because this is stressing me now. Um, I'm keeping that. Don't really want to get rid of them too much, but. I normally just end up using blue uh, furnishing plans, can't be bothered selling them. I want to keep my tarnished and I want to keep the cinders stuff because uh, I might transmute those into an upcoming build. Oh, I've got Plague Doctor, that's nice. Could sell those. Mother's Sorrow, that ain't a bad little one either. Not as used as much these days, but I might sell them. That's better. I've got a bit of space now. He's a menace. He run Claw Troll Tank on Killer. Oh yeah, that's probably probably using the vampire ult. I've I have killed him a couple of times. There's definitely footage of me killing him with a bash build. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's hard to pin down because he, he's always got people around him. And on red xbox eu there's a ton of like 70k health warden healers helping him so it can be quite tricky to pin him down i don't know if he's particularly good 1v1 um, but he's definitely always running in big groups half the time and it's quite annoying because i tend to play early in the morning and um on cyrodiil you know like and then I'm up against him, I'm like, oh no, I just cleaned the map again. Negate then snack with, but I run a um, negate sort with my group, yeah. That's what I run on my latest uh, sorcerer build, negate is such an underused skill, you know, like silencing them. It proper messes them up. Uh, any magic are based in it, in the bubble, they're just trying to, because obviously most uh, skills are magical based uh, healing wise so like you drop that bubble on them and you can burst people down quickly and they just panic and a lot of people don't use it I wouldn't say don't know about it but um, you know not as used as much so it can really put chuck people off guard um, and yeah, they don't you know they don't um, expect it um, so I've got the one it stuns them then it silences them and obviously silence means they can't cast any heat uh, magicka spells and the only thing that's going to work is stamina so obviously not good against someone doing like a bonk build you know like wrecking blow and stuff but like dragon knight panic because uh, obviously they're using whips and all the uh, flame 
damage of you know dots and that and they're not working and they back right out of the bubble it's really good what is my cat doing he's wrecking the place mate i'm just not getting this staff page mate of the lot this is nasty hold up You twat, you've been got it, it's looking at you. Oh my god, I actually got it, that's sweet. I've got it, yay. On our group we have a night blade with hysteria and the gate and two necro bombers. That is a nice setup. Where's my internet gone? No, don't do this to me. My Game Pass is the worst. Do you run, uh, you want Xbox EU diamonds? Yeah, mate. Are you on Xbox EU? Oh, I'm on Game Pass, dude. It's terrible, the connection. Like, I keep thinking it's my internet, but when I run, like, PC or I play on the Xbox normally, it's fine. But Game Pass is laggy as hell, mate. Come join me, then. I can help you with the the. Uh, I might do the geesias actually. What do you reckon? If you need help with the geesias, I can help you with that. Because I could just farm for that. Oh, I want to see the staff quick time. It's, uh, a stupid bird, mate. I want to see my staff at the bird in the way. Where was the staff? It's called staff of the worm, isn't it? Mate, are you? I'm stupid. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, that is nice. Not in that bright green, but yeah, that is nice. Just need the. Might come get a staff. Just need the worm staff. Oh, you did get the. Um, you did get the. Uh, the geesey staff. Yeah, that's cool. I might do this for a while. So you haven't got the true flame either then. I don't mind doing a bit of fishing, or, you know, whatever you, you know. Mind you, I do want the boxes, to be honest. Mate, what is my cat doing? He's wrecking the place. You in Deshaun? Yeah, I'm in Deshaun. I'll just get a tag on this boss quickly. So yeah, I've been, so I wasn't as lucky, definitely. Uh, with these boxes. Where's the nameplate? Right. Right, now I can see who's next to me. You group with me, you said, yeah. So you want to staff the worms. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll, I don't mind helping out. I mean, I've got the staff already, but I could do with some more boxes because, like I said, transmute crystals I am desperate for, and they're dropping okay. And like I said, the loot boxes are nice, to be honest. Like you said, the alchemy is good. I've got my ESO plus as well, so it's just stacking all in my craft bag, which is nice. New night blade. Got no diamond on Tishan. New night blade character. Well, I'm in the middle one. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a new character because of the double XP and stuff, but I just... I don't know, I just can't... I've got everything I need, do you know what I mean? Like, and it's just saying that really pulled... I was thinking of doing like a Walden Bow character. I haven't got... A, you know, I've got a Walden already, but um, it's more like a Frost Walden. I was thinking of just doing like a fun Bow character, because it's obviously... I've done a lot of bow builds with the always the night blade. What's your gamer tag? I'll try and find you. Uh, it's uh, Gloom Frost uh, three six five four. That is my gamer tag. We might be in a different instance. That happens sometimes.
but yeah, I must admit it's a good event. I do, I don't, well, I say good event, my, my favourite is Halloween, but again, it's not the most profitable anymore. Um, is that you just come up? I assume it is. Um, are you in Somerset's come up? It's a change in location. You think this is over, wretch? Tell yourself another lie. But yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to do necromancer now. Um, a few more necromancer builds now, but my staff, the worms. That's a nice staff. But yeah, like, I'm de like the reason I've been doing a lot of streams of like you know just the event and stuff is because the, I am desperate for the gold and the transmutes, and obviously doing this is um, gonna make me a lot of gold with all the motifs I've got. I don't know how to say that. How many have I actually got? I've got a few. Uh, where's the other ones? But yeah, if anyone needs any tips or anything on um, what's that I've got there, nothing crazy too too far on the old motive scene, but that's not too bad. Uh, right, let's go to the next dolmen then. So I'm assuming this is you, uh, Relentless Games. Uh, so yeah, w what do you need then? You need you, you've got the geesier one, and you? you just want the um, mate. What's going on? You want the staff, the worms, obviously. And someone actually mentioned that in the comments. I haven't replied back to, but it's um, yeah. I remember back in the day when the the Darwins were dropping it. It was the Delorans staff. That used to drop on the diamonds, and I always wanted it. I never got it. Delora's staff or something. Does anyone remember that? Um, oh, that was a staff I do miss, and you can't get it anymore. I never did get it. And someone actually mentioned it in the comments. So obviously an old school player as well. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to come join us as well, like on Xbox EU. I said I'm on PCNA as well, but um, I don't want to double farm everything, so my PCNA is strictly just for like a couple of PvP builds. I was rocking the Templar earlier, I was debating to do a stream on that. I said I might do some other random stuff as well. I'm not sure yet, so I need to pull the pins on these quickly, get the boxes to drop a bit faster. everyone like the stream as well if you could please and like I said if you need any help or advice on how to get the bits um, should be able to give you a few tips I've got a lot more builds coming oh, I've got a lot more builds I've got so many more builds coming like I think this is where I played the game so long I've just got so many ideas on things I can bring out I do mostly do PvP builds now because um, I find PvE is a bit more fixed on what you can run but I will be doing some PvE stuff as well I just like um, I just mainly do PvP because there's obviously a bit more variety on what you can build but yeah I've got so much more coming like oh sweet 20 dragon ring that is nice I've got the Dragon Blood, yeah, which I don't think is as expensive, but yeah, this is just like... The dragon stuff is just mental, isn't it? But yeah, you, you keep going, you're not going to get this worm stuff. But yeah, if anyone needs any help with anything, just let me know, hit me up. If you, well, like I said, I'm on Xbox EU, PCNA. Anyone needs some help with it? Just, actually, they just should be tradable, wouldn't it? Like you could, you could get some poor soul. Do you know, it really wants something like the staff, the worm, or the true flame, and they just cannot get it to drop. I mean, they, I don't think you're gonna have trouble with the true flame, to be honest. 
I've heard a couple of people have, but I just I don't know. You shouldn't have too much trouble. It's not an extremely rare drop. I don't know why they've put that. That is just incorrect, as in my opinion. It's just it dropped fairly easy for me, unless I was super lucky. But I was thinking I was just super lucky, but a lot of people have had it drop easy. Um, Oh, you got quite high CP as well, so it must be old school. Or oh, you've been around for a while. But yeah, you cannot be going to that kennel delve. Um, to get the true flame sword and perfect row farming, you only got to move barely, and the the nodes they just drop, the fishing nodes are just there all the time, so you can quickly get some nice perfect rowing. Um, but yeah, like you should be tradable. I like I think all style pages should be tradable. I don't see the harm in that. And but why I put it as extremely rare drop, and most people have got it already. It just makes no logical sense. I'll check my voice is still going. Oh, it sounds good. Yes, all right. What about my audio? So I want some audio in the background, but I don't want it too loud. Fancy me out getting the sword? Yeah, I can um, do some fishing nodes if you want for a bit, yeah. I'm just doing like random stuff anyway, so you know, no, making a bit of gold on the side is good for me. But yeah, I need to look at the staff again, the slow staff. I don't know if I'm that bothered about it. He's quite nice, but um, like Relentless said, he had um, a bit of trouble getting it, you know, and I'm not mad on the geeses, they don't drop anything awesome too much. I used to drop the powdered mother of pearl which used to be worth a bomb but I swear they got easy to get and I think the price did drop off a bit. I imagine if they were like the dragon ones that would be quite good but mind you then again if you get them in the boxes anyway it sort of makes the dragon farming a bit redundant at the moment. But yeah, if anyone wants to join us, yeah, you know. Um, it's just a shame I can't, you know, if I got one again, I could just trade it to him or whatever. But I made him character banned. What purpose that serves, I do not know. Like I said, I said this on my previous stream, like, I've got a couple of mates who um, don't PvP, and they want some of the style pages on the Battlegrounds, um, like a specific one. And you know, I've had, I've probably got it, you know, and I can't trade them to them because I regularly do battlegrounds, you know. So it should be buyable, shouldn't it? It should be nice. Um, did I even get that chest? I can't remember. Get it. Um, it should be viable to just trade. Like, I like stuff lock, locked behind PvP because I think you should encourage people to do PvP as well. But if you don't want to do the PvP, I just think the style pages should just be tradable. Because um, there was a certain shield my mate wanted and then, um, you know, they can't get their hands out, I can't give it to them. You know, the only way to get it is just do hundreds of endless battlegrounds and you might get it, do you know what I mean? It's not a logical way of doing things in my opinion. If it's just for style pages. Has anyone got a Emp? That's a thing I've done years ago. I think I've like 2017 or something. I've got the uh, Emperor title. What's my inventory like? But that's jamming up soon. Yeah. There's a couple of ways to get Emperor. Um, easiest way, in my opinion, is just to do it on the under 50 campaign. And I've literally done it. People say, oh, you need to group. I've done it just me and one other mate. 
I got it first and then he got it on a separate campaign under 50 that was really good back in the day Yeah, it's nice to just do a couple of chill streams because a lot of the streams I've been doing PvP, you know, look, you know, it's just all doing battlegrounds and PvP, which I do enjoy. But sometimes you just want to do a little. This is more like a just yeah, chill stream. I'm just gonna do a mixture of stuff. So I'm glad everyone's joining me for the ride. So hit that like button if you could please and come join me if you're on Xbox EU but yeah if anyone's what the hell's going where's my race run oh it's because we're being tagged but yeah if anyone needs any tips what is, where are we getting hit from this stupid niche or any advice anything to do with the game I don't know most things, so yeah, if you need any advice with things, or do you want some help farming saying, I should know. But yeah, I've, I've just released a Sorcerer build, which is really fun, really strong to play, high damage, three shields, one bar, um, real fun build I'm gonna make updates to it and different tweaks and stuff like I said there's so many builds I've got coming it is crazy like there doesn't even need to be any more sets bought out in the game I could probably still make about another hundred builds um, but like I said I don't want to pump them out too quick because I want to make sure they are viable and decent builds I don't want to go overboard um, but yeah, I've got plenty more to come. Plenty more to come. I, like, but like I said, I primarily I use this set. I primarily use Soul Cleave, what is it? I'm not sure if I'm familiar with that set. Let's have a quick look at what that is. Yeah, come join us, or just come join me, watch the stream. Uh, yeah, I've already got the Star of the Worms, it has dropped for me, I didn't even realise, because obviously when I was opening up the anniversary boxes I had other style pages, and didn't even realise I even had it, but again, unfortunately they're all character banned. I was hoping, you know, that the True Flame was going to be tradable, and I thought maybe the others might be, but no, it's looking, I can't confirm all of them are character banned, but I've got two out of five of them and so I can pretty much assume they are not tradable. Let's have a quick look at that set running. Soul Cleaver. Ryan Coyne strings your side feet at the cost of hole on that. Wow that is a light yeah I think I have seen it. It's a unique set isn't it? Increased it. Wow. Oh, I know what. Oh, I know what the set is now. It's the one from. The reason I ain't seen it is because I ain't farmed any of the infinite archive sets. I think that is. That looks a nice set. Hey, bro, new to the channel. How's it going? Welcome, Mitchy. Yeah, um, not too bad. Just farming uh, the event pages. Um, I've got the True Flame and I've got the Staff of the Worms. It's the only ones I really want at the moment. But yeah, if you need any help with anything or any advice, I'll be, you know, I'll be happy to help. Uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. I've already, like I said, I've already got the Staff of the Worm. I'm just farming some event boxes at the moment. It's a nice little farm, and as a nice little tip for everyone, is that. Um, Definitely hit the dolmens if you don't want to do the crafting dailies or whatever it is, as um, the dolmens bosses will drop an event box, and also you get the occasional three bosses on the dolmen, and they will you'll get three boxes in, you know, like just one boss. It's technically one boss, but there's three of them. 
Um, I think there's a couple, one or two different types of three bosses on the dolmens, and you get three boxes in one hit. I was like, yes. I've just started to PC now. I'm starting over. You got any tips for DK? Um, yeah, I've just started on PC as well, pretty much. I'm only like 500. So I'm on PC, NA, and Xbox EU. And tips for DK? Uh, do you mean PvP? I'm assuming. Um, the, well, I've been with the, with the DK. Uh, I've done quite a few builds with the DK. They're very strong. They're still top dog, um, pretty much. I would personally, if you want to start, if you're uh, sort of new for DK or you want to make things easy, I'd definitely lean into the corrosive side of things because then you haven't got to worry about the penetration on your build. You ain't got to run sharpened. Um, you haven't got to worry about a stat, which is nice, which is very unique for that class, unless you're running, obviously, a two-handed build. Um, so I'll definitely go corrosive, and then you've only got to worry about, say, crit damage and weapon damage and, just, and your other stats. It's, it's nice to not worry about something, because obviously you've got to make sure the pen's there, make sure your weapon damage is there, make sure this is there. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, hitting corrosive you you um you don't need to worry about penetration on your build because obviously when you're in ult you can just slay people quick um i would recommend a set which is my favorite set on dk that is old school is um what's it called what the hell i've gone blank the one in city of ash what is it called? Someone help me, what's it called? Burning Spell Weave, that's it. That is best in slot for DK. Um, a lovely set, a bit annoying because it is a dungeon set to farm, but it's well worth it. And it is a yeah, Spell Weave, mate, yeah. Uh, that is a nice set for DK. So you can run like Burning Spell Weave, Rallying Cry on the back bar, or Burning Spell Weave. A wretched vitality um, you can also run uh, I would recommend obviously Balog if you want to maximise your damage but again you don't need the penetration from it so half of Balog is redundant so probably not super recommended actually but um, Blood Spawn very very nice spell weave yeah Blood spawn is very very nice. If you want a crafted set, you can have uh, Daedric Trickery, Daedric Trickery, should I say? Um, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know why I'm just not a fan of it. I've tried. I've not used it extensively though, so maybe I'm wrong. So I'm thinking of running out Jawville front bar, but I'm not sure what I should do back bar. Uh, back bar, if you're doing a back bar PvP build, I would recommend a Frost Staff, so like a Wretched Vitality defending Frost Staff uh, with a weapon damage enchantment, so you can prop your weapon damage on the back bar, have it in defending, Ice Staff is nice, because um, then you can also run Elemental Drain or something, find it's not needed as much on a DK. open some boxes up because my inventory is full as usual but lucky I've got the um, the crafting bag so I can not worry about it too much maybe it does jam up quick At least I'm getting some transmutes, I suppose, but I would like a few more. Um, not sure, yeah, back bar, so you can go sword and bold. If you want to be extra tanky, or, you know, ice staff is what a lot of people run. And, like, say, back bar, you want rallying cry is your go to, or wretched vitality. Uh, that's sort of the go to sort of back bar sets. For PvP, 
I used to run trickery, but I also need to run star back bar and great sword with dizzy swing front bar, but it seems like nobody runs dizzy anymore. Um, there are some benefits, like I said, with running two-handed, which is you get the major berserk, which is hard to come by. Um, and obviously if you run wrecking blow, um, so if you, st if you don't run dual wield and you run two-handed on the front, you can get the wrecking blow and get the major berserk, which is nice. Um, but you can't get running dual wield. Um, so it's really down to preference. And obviously, I think two handed is probably a bit harder to play because it's harder to land the dizzy swings. Whereas I think um, dual wield is a bit, AOE, a bit more AOE and a bit more forgiving. Um, so it really comes down to preference, to be honest. Um, that's not to say two-handed is rubbish, it's just it is a bit tricky to land on high mobility targets like a dizzy swing but like it don't mean it don't work you know you've only got to look at um, streamers like E-Man and KOG and that, they just they make it look easy don't they but it's, it's very hard to replicate even I struggle um, but yeah, you don't really need to run two-handed on Dragonite if you don't want to because you don't need to run Onslaught for the penetration because you could run Corrosive. Um, so you, you've got more freedom, I suppose, on a Dragonite. Thanks for the help. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, I've got plenty of builds and guides on my channels. Help is always there. But that's what got me into doing YouTube, to be honest. I thought, like, I've got so much experience with the game because I played it like nine, nearly ten years. And I thought, well, you know, I can make so much stuff and, like, advice to people. Because I've I started giving that advice to people. People are asking me how to do this, what's the best way to do that. And I thought, well, I might as well start doing some videos to be honest and help, you know, and bring it up to the wider community. Um, and I didn't think it would come as far as it's come, my YouTube, so I'm grateful it's come this far. Relentless, have you got the Star of the Worms yet or is it still not dropping for you? But yeah, I'd say it's probably took me, say, 40 dolmens to get that drop. Found you via your bash build vids, Glowtree. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Yeah, um... I definitely like the bash build vids. Um, bash builds, they're really good. They're always a solid build to do because uh, they're unexpected, a lot of people don't run them, a lot of people don't know how to deal with them unless they're super top end players. Um, they're very effective. I'm definitely going to do more bash builds as well, I'm going to, I will do a sort bash build. Um, I've got another, my next build coming out is probably going to be either my Walden Frost updated build or my Nightblade. Uh, range gank. Gonna try salt. Haven't seen many in a while. Had fun with necro bash back a few. Yeah, I've never done a necro bash. I know they're good, but I think yeah, top dog for bash builds without a doubt. If you want to maximise damage and punishment and sustain, is is definitely salt. There's no debate there. I think dragonite's probably the easiest because you've got the corrosive access. Without just focus the clown from you get focused in yeah that's the problem when you go into that ultimate nightblade sounds fun yep yeah, you can do a nice crit surprise bash build I haven't actually done that 
I know people have done that in the past. Um, but yeah, Sorcerer is probably really where you want to be aiming in that direction because of all the Sorcerer buffs. You know, they've got sustain. Bash builds always suffer from sustain. Um, so obviously Sorcerers have access to that Dark deal. So you've pretty much got free sustain. And that's what makes them so strong. I really need to get my merchant out. But yeah, like, there's a lot of ways, you can, bash build does work on any class to be honest, but I think it's probably most optimal on um, a sorcerer, to be honest. But I think it's more forgiving and more user friendly on a DK corrosive, like a one bar. But I will be doing two bar ones. Wow, I've got some trash here. Well, I'm going down here. But it's just how you want to play in it. Like you can do a bash build, like I said. Yeah, on pretty much any class, and win. Like I said, they just you don't see them. I think I did say ages ago. I like, watched more rarer werewolves or bash builds, and I think bash builds are still rarer. Um, and they're very effective. I think they're good for like new players. If you want to do like a one bar bash build, nice and easy to get into. Um. And I've had some really good games, battlegrounds with them, they're really, really fun to play. A lot of people say they're boring, I don't find them boring, I think they're quite good. Um, I said they're brilliant in hitting Arcanist with their, when they've got that beam going, you just knock them silly. I would love to try bash build, what sets are good for it? Yeah, well, the go-to, like the foundation you want is Deadlands. Um, no, Deadlands Demolisher. That's the that's the set you want as your foundation because it gives so much bash damage. And then I normally pair with that like the Oaken Soul Ring and a Veiled Heritance. So and the good another good thing is like Deadlands Demolisher is craftable, so easy to obtain. Craft it or get someone to craft it for you. And Veiled Heritance is an Overland set that can be bought. So the sets are easy and quick to put together. Um, but like I said you will run into some sustain issues if you do run Deadlands, Demolisher and Veiled Heritance. So just be mindful of that, that's why I would recommend one bar if you're doing that. Um, and run like Corrosive because it will give all your resources back. Ethereal Ascension usable still, I've come I have some gold in. Yeah, Ethereal Ascension, I think. Doesn't that give you armour? That can work. Um, it depends how you want to build the bash building. Do you want to maximise damage? And, you know, but you might suffer in sustain. And you can use my DK one bar bash build. Just got to be mindful with tripods and heavy attacks to get some sustain back. Or you can run Deadlands, Demolisher and say Wretched Vitality or um, a couple of monster recoveries and just push into recovery a little bit more. You can push Sword and Bald Masters if you've got, as that gives you armor and health back. Um, yeah, there's there's just many ways to do it. Um, but the simplest way, yeah, is just Veiled Heritance, Deadlands, Demolisher, Oak and Soul, and just be careful of um, your sustain, that's all. But it still works, you know, you can run the smoke bear haunch, a recovery mandus, you know, there's ways around it. But it's still, that's, that is the problem with um, bash builds, they're very, very taxing on recovery. And that's why they shine as a sorcerer. Let's open some more. Yeah, so 
so we, I think we will be doing a bit of fishing after this actually maybe get some perfect rowing I'll show everyone the spot as well if everyone's not aware of the spot um, as I'm getting a bit drained with the uh, dolmens but yeah like at least I've got some nice alchemy stuff and I've got some bits to sell because I'm desperate for gold But yeah, Deshaun is much better for Dolman. I don't know why I can just tolerate Deshaun Dolman a lot better, but Alakir Desert, I don't know where it is. I think it's where, you, with Alakir Desert, there's so many players, you don't have to engage once you're grouped up and you just get bored. Um, whereas this, you sort of have to engage, so it's a bit more fun. What is my cat doing? pull these pins quick um, but yeah like I said with bash builds you don't have to run oak and soul if you want two bar I'd definitely go if, and you're not going into crit I would definitely go with the Malakath's band of brutality if there's anything that says increases damage done is going to push the bash damage even more so on a one bar you can probably hit about 6.8k 6.8k bash damage which is a lot but on um, two bar you can get to about 7.8k bash damage um, just be uh, it's just the sustain is the issue that can be overlooked Yeah, it's definitely a good event for making gold. Without a doubt, it's just a shame. Like these unique style pages, they're just not tradable. It's stupid. They should have at least mentioned that as well in the guides, which they never do. You just always find out the hard way. I just assume they would be tradable. I just can't see why they wouldn't be tradable. But yeah, what's everyone doing in the event? Is everyone... Are you farming for these special pages? Or are you doing your daily you know, crafting writs, I think? Does them as well, didn't it? Or have you got your cake and all? I got the cake uh, yesterday. Um, I can't believe I'm missing the 2019 cake. I've got every cake since 2016. And then I ain't got that one. And once you've missed it, that's it, you can't get the cakes. I'm missing one cake for 2016, 2017, 2018, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024. But not the 2019. Um, not that I'm a completionist, but um, I was with the cakes a little bit, and I'm surprised I missed that one. I just wasn't playing it at the time. Don't know why. Must have been playing some other game. Probably playing Boulder's Gate, which is one of my favourites. Or Icewind Dale. Pull these pins. Oh, what? But yeah, what is everyone farming? Are you, are you farming just for the event boxes? Or are you farming for special pages? I don't think I'm going to farm for any more pages, especially when they're not tradable. Um, I've got the worms, but I've got the true flame. Here we go, look. This is three bosses. Watch this. Three boxes. So you can get the three Ogrims on the Dolmans, and you can get the three uh, Demoras, and then you get three boxes, which is nice. 
I'm currently grinding out some skill points on my arguments. It only took me a day for Sigic. Oh yeah, I can't stand doing uh, Sigic. Uh, that's what, again, this is what puts me off doing more build, um, not more builds, uh, more characters. The two things I hate the most is the Sigic line, which I've done about four times now. And um, the Undaunted. That's the two things that puts me. I don't mind leveling characters to 50. I'm not really too bothered about that. Um, especially with this double XP and all that. But yeah, like the vampire's okay. Because, you know, if you're doing diamonds, you're going to get the fighter's guild. You're going to get the vampire all done and dusted. And skill points is another thing that annoys me. Skill points, the undaunted, and Sigic. I mean, you can get away with not doing the Sigic if you're doing a non-crit build, like with Malakath or something. Um, but generally, you do want it on most builds. Um, so I feel like you're obligated to do Sigic line a little bit. Unless you run, say, like a Walden. Because obviously they've got the major expedition through the... the um, something Predator or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called now. And the Undaunted, again, it's not a super big grind, but um, I just, where I've done so many dungeons, I hate doing dailies. Um, not that there's nothing wrong with them, it's just that I've just done so many in the past, I just can't be bothered. Um, I do it on my ults because you need the sky shards anyways, yeah true, it does kill two birds with one stone. I bought Major Guild on a tomb for me, you will no regrets. The grind was ridiculous on Ponce by the end, yeah. I've only got obviously Major's Guild line on my main character and I have wanted it on other builds like Meteor but I'm just like nah, I ain't grinding that. And again you probably could do it in a week or whatever. But just picking up books, oh, just I can't, not, I can't get, do that on multiple characters. The grind is ridiculous on console for that and city, yeah. And the hall speed for one per day, that should be account bound, yeah. That's another thing that annoys me. Is that I think they should remove the mount speed. Because I think it would encourage more people to go to Cyrodiil. Because even I don't want to go to Cyrodiil sometimes when I've made a new character, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'll just do Battlegrounds. Because I just can't be arsed with a slow man speed. I know they gave you the... Um, you can get the CP to boost it a bit. And you can also get the continuous attack, which gives you a major gallop. But you're still slow. You still feel really slow. And you're like, oh, you know what? I mean, I, I just can't be bothered. Because the horse is just so slow. I mean, this is all maxed out. This character with everything, and the horse. I wouldn't say is particularly fast. It don't in Cyrodiil. You like when you want to get from A to B. You like oh, and if it's slow, yeah. I just I think that should be removed, to be honest. Or it should be sped up. It shouldn't take 60 days to max out the mount speed. I just I don't know. I just think it should just. But there's some things in this game that just shouldn't be. A thing, and I think horse training should either be removed or massively nerfed. That it's much easier to get, like maybe 20 days or something. I don't know. It's just, it shouldn't take two months per character. And I know the argument is you could log into all your characters every day, but get them all maxed out, which I probably have on Xbox now. But it's just like you want to do a fresh one. You're like, oh, here we go again. You know, but this is obviously for the PvP aspect. But yeah, I did. I was thinking of doing another character, but I'd probably do it on PC to be honest. But there's nothing that jumps out at me that I need. I've got everything I need. So, but like, I was thinking of doing a yeah, like a Walden bow. Um, just because that's what I would like to do. But yeah. I'll just get put off with the horse and the undaunted. And yes, you don't need the undaunted, but you you usually want things optimal, so not having that is a big... It's a little bit of a setback. Not a massive setback, obviously. You don't have to have the undaunted. It's just nice to have. 
but it is noticeable when you don't have it on a bash build. Um, definitely. So yeah, I haven't actually made a new character um, in probably a couple of months to be honest. Um, last one I made was probably on PC. I've made about three on PC. And I've got about 10 on Xbox. I think that's enough for me. Uh, thanks, good info. Yeah, no worries. Uh, glow tree. Did I go to the wrong one? I'm starting to get a bit confused. Um, yeah, it's like... What was I going to say? And another tip as well, if you're a new player or, um, you know, you, your person that build makes a lot of characters, I would always recommend to build, pick a damage race like High Elf or um, Khajiit or Dark Elf or Orc, to be honest. Um, as from my experience, even though, you know, like a sustain race, there's nothing wrong with it, it's nice. And Nord's got the unique ulti gen. At the end of the day, I think it does always boil down to uh, damage and having that extra bonus damage from the, the racial passives, you always feel like you want. That's just my personal opinion though. Um, I'm not saying Argonians don't work or whatever. But, um, and you don't want to get into the thing of, oh, I've got to buy a race change token because they're expensive. You know what I mean? Like I've done it a couple of times myself, but like, you know, I made like a red guard because I wanted a red guard. Um, but I did eventually change it to an orc because I thought, you know what, I just want the damage and mobility, and the red guard just weren't providing that. Um, so yeah, I would, my, my personal opinion, yeah, if you're a new player or a person that makes lots of characters, you're better off going with a damage race. And I tell you another thing as well, especially if that character is used for PvE and PvP. Do you know what I mean? Like you can have a brilliant Nord PvP character and you're like, ah, oh, I really want to use this character for PvE. Well, Nord ain't going to be great on PvE unless you're a tank. Do you know what I mean? So if your aspect is always damage, um, then I would recommend a damage race. And especially Orc is one of the best because, you know, you get that unique mobility buff. And, you know, running heavy armour or you're running sea serpents. You know I mean, if you run Orc, that helps out greatly. I'd say Orc is probably the best race in the game. you got nothing yet as well. Did he say? I think Red Ant, says nothing yet. Oh my god, check your inventory though. Because I thought I didn't have it, did I? And then I would just look through my star pages and it's there looking at me. I didn't even know I even had it. Um, because that's the problem. When you're opening all the boxes and you're doing dolmens, uh, you might miss it. So just check your inventory. Because um, I didn't even know I even had it. I've just got my staff ugly but got it. Oh, what, the, the staff of the worms? I thought it's quite a nice staff, isn't it? Um, yeah, check your inventory because uh, I didn't know I even had it. I'm thinking, I'm going through my inventory and it's looking at me. I'm thinking, I've already got it. But the, the true flame, yeah, like that's been, they really mucked me up on that, you know, and saying it's an extremely you know if someone says this is an extremely rare drop chance you would assume you're going to be there in the long haul and some people have even said to me they were disappointed and even others I, like, I felt a little bit disappointed because I've done a live stream thinking I was going to be streaming for about seven hours trying to find this unique style page that's going to be worth a fortune and um 
you know, it just dropped easy. And a lot of people have had it drop easy. And you're like, what the hell? Well, you know, I wanted a little challenge here and get a unique special page, you know. And then it's dropping like hotcakes. Or, well, for most people, it's been dropping quite well. I've just got to work on that sort of damn fishing. Yeah, um... The good thing is, like I said, the fishing is never wasted because the perfect row always sell, they're always highly sought after because they're in good recipes. And you want to go to uh, here, if you're not aware, uh, Nicolava's Kennel in Rothgar. There's three little fishing holes there. You can fish really fast. Um, it's not wasted time. It's just a bit boring, isn't it, the fishing? Um, I don't mind it, but I wouldn't do it extensively. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really going to be this crazy hard drop page, as they mentioned, you know. Extremely rare drop, you would assume that means it's going to be hard to find. And from what I've heard, most people have had it, some people even said they've had it drop on two fish, you know, two bites. But it took me about, I'd say, 50 bites before I got it. Um, and I was expecting it to be super hard drop and it'd be worth like 10 million and be selling it, but didn't know, thank you. Uh, that's why I like giving out information to people because not everyone knows this stuff. Um, obviously a lot of stuff I say if you're a veteran player might not be beneficial because you might know it already, but um, I like to bring the information that I do know out to every player because some players don't know. But yeah, go to that delve which I think we should be going to soon. Um, go to that delve and it's just easy fishing, you ain't got to move running around hunting. That's why I'm a sub to you, I've been playing like six months. Oh, yeah, cheers for the sub. Everyone like the stream as well, please. Um, yeah, if you're a new player, like I said, a lot of I've got a lot of builds which are sort of uh, new player friendly. Obviously, I do have advanced builds as well. Um, I've got loads of gold making guides, thieving guides. You know, you name it. I should have done it. Hopefully by now. Um, event guides. And also, I do try and keep things a little bit different to other YouTubers as well. Obviously, you're going to cross paths with some people. You might do the same guide as someone or the same build as someone. Um, that's going to happen, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I'll try to keep things a bit varied. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't just do our bash build channel. Do you know what I mean? Because after about 20 videos, you're just going to be re repeating the same stuff. Not that there's nothing wrong with just doing one thing, but I like to do. I try to do every all aspects of the game as much as I can to my, the best of my ability. Um, like trials is the one thing. High end PVE, like doing crazy 120k damage, and trials is the only thing that I can't really do. Um, the most damage I've ever pulled on a like a DPS build is 105 or 104k DPS which is when the heavy attack builds were at their peak um, which is enough for everything to be honest but now they're hitting about 95, 96k um, yeah and I don't, I'd like veteran trials I just never have the time um, to do like because they can go on for like 5 hours can't they and you're like oh um, that's the only thing that puts me off the trials and I just find them, because I've played Xbox a lot, they're difficult to get in I just wish there'd be a trial group finder to be honest I can understand they're not being a veteran one because you know you can get trolls and useless people um, I believe me, I love your builds because I like you actually play the game and not just say some dumb shit yeah, I use a heavy build, it's changed my gameplay, yeah. I must admit, before heavy attack builds, the best DPS I could pull, I think I was doing like a dual wield, or something like Dragon Knight dual wield, no, it was a dual wield Templar, that's what it was, with the jabs. The most I could ever pull was like 75, I might have hit 80k, I wasn't like the best. 
And then obviously when the heavy attack builds come in and then I was hitting like 100 k I'm like, yes, I'm now god tier. Um, um, but to go beyond that, like, nah, that's just... I've never been able to do proper top-end, you know, sweaty DPS. I just can't. I don't know why. I've, tr I have tried. I've probably not put everything into it. I probably could if I put did put everything into it. I just don't. Um, but like I said, do you really need to go beyond 100k DPS? Probably not, unless you're score pushing anyway. So, to me, it seems a bit pointless. But, you know, I could just be saying that because I can't do it. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, heavier tape builds, it's just... You know, they changed the game and allowed um, people who couldn't complete tough content to complete tough content because they didn't have to focus on a sweaty complex rotation, they were simpler rotations and they could focus on the mechanics of like the trials and dungeons and you know what I mean, focus on the actual gameplay rather than worrying about what buttons you're pressing um, you know and that's why I think the game I'm not a fan of the light attack uh, in between every skill Maybe it's just because I'm old and I don't, I can't react quick enough, I don't know, I just, I can't do it. Who knows? But heavy attack like this is just easy play. Yes, you can't do the most damage in the game possible, but if you're touching 100k pretty much, I think that's good enough. Relentless, are you sure you ain't got this staff? Because just check your inventory. Because, like I said, I had it in my inventory, I didn't even realise. Because if you've already got one drop, it ain't going to drop again. Unfortunately, I wish they were tradable, that'd be so good. I'm going to open some boxes as well. Just see if we've got any more goodies. I've checked, yeah. Because I, I like a twat, didn't even notice it was in my inventory. But yeah, if you get bored, then we can go do a bit of fishing, maybe. I'll show everyone the spot if everyone's not aware. Right, I'm just going to have to start deleting some. Oh, I just did not have that one. I'm surprised there's recipes I don't know, because this is my main character. And I pretty much, I thought I would, I know a lot of the recipes, I just used something there. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, like I said, I, shouldn't, I should know most recipes. My RNG is terrible. Um, yeah, hopefully you get more luck with the fishing one, to be honest, because that seems to be the easiest one. I mean, I've only farmed this one and the fishing one, to be fair, so I could be wrong. Um, but I would say... My opinion is the true flame one is the easiest one to drop and they put on the website that it's the um, hardest one, extremely rare and the other ones just say oh has a chance of dropping so god knows what they were doing or unless that was just my weird luck I don't know. Um, so yeah just let me know Relentless if you want to swap over to the fishing or keep going with this. I don't mind either way to be honest but The fishing is quite, uh, it's alright, you know, like I said, and it's not wasted if you don't get this, the sword, um, which you, you probably will, to be honest, it's not an hard drop, I don't think, um, you're going to get all that perfect row of goodness, so, you know, and they, and they, the reason they always sell, because they are used in the smoke bear haunch recipe. and XP potions, so they, they always sell. Everyone like the stream please, as that helps me out. I say like the stream, I'm just doing dolmen farming. But like I said, that's why I'm chucking in some advice as well.
do fishing after this one, yeah, I mean, I don't mind, like I said I need the gold anyway, to be honest, so. Just a shame you ain't got it, but like I said, yeah, I don't know why the drops are harder on the weapon pages, and the true flame seems to be more forgiving, I don't know. So should we do a bit of fishing then? So yeah, this is the location. In my personal opinion, it's the best. So we'll go there. So yeah, go to this Traders Road Way Shrine. I'm going to get rid of my flappy bird as well because that's going to get on my nerves. Nicolava's Nicolovara's kennel. Let's get rid of that damn bird. Yeah, so this this is the spot here. Nice. I pretty much just stand on this rock to be honest. Um, make sure you have the real technique because that's going to make the cast time quicker, bites quicker. I don't think the angler's instinct is going to help you, so you don't really need that one on, but you can put it on if you wish. And also, have your sharp as night on because it increases the real time, which I didn't even realise. Look how much bait I've got as well. But yeah, just standing on this rock, it really don't really barely need to move, to be honest. Right, it's come the same fishing hole. I don't know if that's going to help him or not. Even if I, don't get any bites, watching them I know it increases the chances of getting the green and blue fish, but I don't know if it's going to increase the chances of the page. But I didn't know if they dropped in the wet gunny sacks. It just appears. It just You just pull it out. But this is the best fishing spot for perfect row, mate. You can make a ton of gold here. Do I have to max him out to get the buff from Sharp? No, you don't. I don't think. I think all the maxing out does is that um, you don't need him equipped, I think, or something to get the bonus. Um, but yeah, the real time is just decreased. Instead of it being like 10 seconds, it's more like 5 seconds. But yeah, I just cannot believe it's a count bound. It's so annoying. Because you can't trade them to friends, you can't sell them. It's just stupid. Oh my god, my inventory is killing me. rid of some of these glyphs. But yeah, fishing is um yeah it's not the most exciting thing but like yeah you, you can make some solid gold. And this is the best spot for farming the perfect row in my opinion. Like I said if you go to Apothrica or Somerset or Arteum you can get extra stuff like motifs and uh, recipes and furnishing plans but it's at the cost of you having to keep searching for fishing holes so you're not going to get as many perfect row unless you're super hot on the fishing holes but from what I found um, you're best here to be honest.
if you just want perfect row. But yeah, if anyone wants to join us, we're on Xbox EU. I'm also on PCNA, but I won't be re-farming uh, the, the style pages. I'm just going to get a drink quickly because I'm gasping. So I'm back. P PS5 over here. Yeah, I want a PS5. You can also get the... Uh, the furnishing items of like the fish and that which is quite nice but um, like where your gold is at is obviously the perfect row I said if you just spend one hour here um, even if you've already got the style page or whatever if you just spend one hour here you know you're going to get quite a few fish you're probably going to get like about a hundred fish maybe two hundred fish and then you might get like five row you might get two row you know you're going to make some good gold I want to try a PC it looks so amazing on there yeah that's why I made the, I, I didn't make the move to PC I just made a PC account um, because it is better, you know, there's no doubt about it, there's more players, you've got the add-ons to help you, I think it runs a lot smoother, I'm running this on Game Pass, and it's just awful, like, um, graphics-wise, and it's always jittery. At first I thought it was my internet, but it's not my internet, it's, um, so I've checked everything, it runs fine when I'm playing PC or just on the Xbox normally, but the game passes, it is very laggy. So,
Yeah, relentless. Have you got the sharp as night companion? Because I think that might speed up the real time uh, for you. I don't think the food's going to help or the other CP because um, I think that's just going to enhance the chances of coloured fish which is not what you want obviously I'm not going to go fishing now you make it look easy yeah it is easy <laughs> but yeah like just come here like everyone should have the, the problem with this originally was that it was locked behind a DLC wall you know obviously but now Rothgar was given freely to everyone so hopefully most people have got it anyway now and yeah, it's like the best spot. But like the other alternative is Craglawn. I think there's a lake on the western side of Craglawn. And that's got like an unlimited spot like this. They just keep spawning in front of you. Or you've got um, the Alicare Desert near the Goat's Head Way Shrine. That's another nice easy spot. I think that just keeps spawning in that same body of water. That's what you're looking for. Look, you're looking for fishing holes that just keep spawning in the same body of water and like I said this is a really small one and once they're used they just respawn again next year so you ain't got to move nowhere you know what I mean because you can waste a lot of time in Somerset and Apothrica running around trying to find the fishing holes and I will struggle to see them as well especially in Apothrica with that inky black um, water or liquid or whatever it is for the rivers and lakes so if you're not on PC, yeah, they're a bit tricky to spot because obviously you've got add-ons, aren't you, where you can just, oh, there's your fishing hole. There's your fishing hole. Um, so yeah, just come here. It's just the simplest and easiest place to fish. There is a couple of mobs that do spawn now and again that bother you, but if, as long as you stay on this rock, to be honest, you, you barely need to move from the rock. And then, you, you know, you're good to go. But yeah, like I said, I'm desperate for gold on Xbox. Uh, I've just exhausted all my gold. I did have millions. Um, so I'm, I'll be happy to get some perfect row. I got like six perfect row on my previous live stream uh, when I was trying to get the true flame sword and I fished for like an hour and got six perfect row. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think they go for 30k each on Xbox. Um, so, do you know what I mean? Like, that's, you know, uh, like 150k there, isn't it? Or 200k, and then on PC, that's probably like, God knows how much they are on PC. And on, look as good to me as the craft bag, it's a must in my eyes. Yeah, definitely. But like you don't have to move, you can literally well might move slightly. But like yeah, a couple of steps and you just keep casting, do you know what I mean? You're not wasting time, keep running around trying to find fishing holes. Um because that's obviously gonna reduce the amount of fish you get. But yeah, it's nice to do chill streams. Uh, like I said, I'm always normally doing PvP streams. Um, which can get a little bit intense, can't they? It's nice to just do um, chill streams. If people do enjoy these, I will do more as well. Um, cause like I said, I like to do a mixture. I, just, I don't like to focus on one thing. I like to do a mixed bag, keep it fresh. Um, and just keep it very, you know, like varied. To be honest, because obviously, if you do too much of anything, it can get stale. So I like to uh, mix things up, do different builds, different types of builds. I mean, I do primarily do PvP builds, like I said, and um, mostly gank builds. But I do do a lot of other stuff. Um, and it was nice to do a sorcerer build as well because I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, I do I do keep meaning to do a werewolf build as well because obviously they've been buffed a little bit with these sorcerer passives. Um, I just haven't really got around to doing that. Like I said, there's a lot of builds. I, I can only do one build at a time. 
and I find if I do multiple boots at once I get a bit confused and I get a bit like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, so yeah, I try to just do one at a time and make sure it is a good build that is viable. Um, I don't want to pump them out too quickly and they're not all that, do you know what I mean? Like, I want to make them as sweet as I can. And obviously have clips as well, proving that they do kill people, do you know what I mean? Because a lot of people will contest, you know, does your thing actually work? Wonder if Is Elder Scrolls 6 ever going to come out? <laughs> Hopefully I'm still going to be alive. The first Elder Scrolls game I played was Oblivion properly. I did play Morrowind when I was a, when I was a kid, uh, Elder Scrolls 3. Never played 1 and 2. Um, yeah, I never played 1 and 2, um, but I did play Morrowind really briefly, I think I did install it on PC when I was a kid. Uh, what, that bow build is crazy, which one? I've made so many, do you mean, do you mean my one? I've made the, the Emperor's Assassin one, it was the latest one I've done, and that was re a really strong build. Um, but yeah, Elder Scrolls Oblivion was my first true Elder Scrolls game. And that was a really good game. I still enjoy it to this day. I don't obviously haven't played it in a couple of years, but it's a really good game. Oblivion on the 360 at the time. That was just an amazing game. Um, and then Skyrim come out, and then I hate this because I never really played Skyrim. Believe it or not, you'd think. Whereas I'm such an Elder Scrolls fanatic, you think I would have played that, but barely played it. I probably played it about ten times. And I know the reason why I didn't play it is because at the time I was into um, uh, Call of Duty and I was playing a lot of Black Ops and stuff like that and World at War and I just missed that because I think it came out about 2011 didn't it so I was I was doing I was into shooters then and I sort of come away from I still played like Baldur's Gate and RPGs because I always have but I just didn't play Skyrim and I proper regret it because I know it's a brilliant game. I played Morrowind, it was the first one for me, yeah, um, like I said I did really briefly play it but I think there was some issue, we installed it on like, my dad's PC or whatever and uh, it didn't run or something and we ended up just selling it, Gorgeous catch. it wasn't um, worth so I never really played it say, properly, it right but yeah Oblivion was the first for me and then um, when Elder Scrolls Online come out, like in 2015 or whatever on console, you know, I heard it was dropping on console. I wasn't even waiting for it to drop, I just randomly got it one day. Because I was probably, st I was still playing a lot of Call of Duty, like Black Ops 2 or whatever. Or even Black Ops 3 or whatever it was. That was my first MMO. Um, yeah, then on Elder Scrolls Online come out and I was just hooked, I don't know, it just hooked me. Um, and that was it pretty much. I mean, I do play other games. I don't just play this. I primarily play this, but I play a lot of Red Dead as well. And I do play a lot of Baldur's Gate. I've been playing that since I was like eight years old. Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. It's like my all-time favourites. Um, I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 yet. just haven't got around to it. Um, I also play a bit of Elden Ring, but I do find that really difficult to play. Um, because it's just so different. I knew it was going to be an hard game anyway. I didn't like, buy it thinking I was just going to wipe it clean easy. Um, but yeah, I just feel like uh, I just primarily play Elder Scrolls. So I never get a chance to play other games too much. But yeah, I do play a bit of Baldur's Gate. Yeah, Red Dead is my other sort of go-to. I have played a bit of Fortnite as well. But again, I'm not in the shooting scene anymore. And to be honest, what killed it for me as well, I think the shooters, I think they're just, the Call of Duty's got a bit samey. And um, I really liked Black Ops, but after that, after Black Ops 2, I think that was really the 
final one for me and I didn't like it all went all futuristic and I liked the old school sort of gritty World War Two Vietnam sort of um, Call of Duties and then when they went all like modern warfare this and that I was like I don't know it sort of put me off a little bit and then the yeah, course got into Elder Scrolls um, but yeah I wouldn't say Elder Scrolls is my favourite game though, my favourite game of all time is definitely Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dale, hands down, um, with probably Oblivion a close second, oh wet gunny sack, but yeah like I said the style page don't drop in the gunny sacks, it just drops like on the loot thing in, on your screen. So what what is everyone else's favourite game apart from this, of course? Um, but yeah, when is Elder Scrolls Six ever going to come out? Is that coming out in like 2030? It's like they're really taking their time with that, aren't they? I mean, I could understand because this game is an MMO, and it's like a endless sort of game, so there's probably no rush to make Elder Scrolls Six. But I think it's sort of getting to that point. Whereas, is it coming out? I did play a bit of GTA 5, but again, I'm not a massive fan of GTA. I used to be, like back in the day, I would play. I played GTA 1 when I was a little kid, uh, GTA 2, GTA 3, GTA Vice City. I played San Andreas was really good, and I think after San Andreas, I just stopped playing them. Like I did play GTA 4 briefly and GTA 5 briefly, but never really liked them. And like I know GTA 6 is finally coming out, but again, I probably would play it, but I, I wouldn't actively like, oh, I've got to play that. I want to say in two years, hopefully, yeah. I think, um, like I don't want it rushed and coming out, you know, but I think it's starting to get to that point where it needs to come out soon. But is it going to be an MMO? Well, no, it won't be an MMO, but I mean, is it going to be multiplayer? Is it going to be a solo game? Like, it's, you know, will it kill Elder Scrolls Online? I mean, if this is pushing 10 years, in it? Like, how much longer can this game keep going? But it's still going strong, in it? I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. I think this game's got at least another five years life, and then even that, it might still go beyond that. So will we get the Elder Scrolls 6, and will it be a solo experience like Skyrim? Who knows? But um, I think yeah, like the release date window for Elder Scrolls Six is yeah, it's looking like 27, 2027 or twenty twenty eight in it. So they need this format. Yeah, I would be a little, I would feel a little bit disappointed if Elder Scrolls Six is um, single player. To be honest, because where you you're so used to playing a multiplayer game. It would definitely be a big shift, and I know Skyrim was successful as a single player game, but I just feel like Skyrim would have been much better as a multiplayer as well. So yeah, we just have to wait and see, but like yeah, surely they've got to be bringing it out soon. But it is annoying that obviously you want a high quality game, but the length of time you've got to wait for like the next game is just ridiculous. Like back in the day, you'd be like a year or two, oh, here's the next one, here's the next one, here's the next one. And now it's like um, GTA 5, do you know what I mean? That I think if someone said there was something crazy um, and had crossplay, yeah, I wish, mate. That, that is like a must, this game should have crossplay. Um, yeah, GTA 5 spanned across three consoles, which is crazy, like PS3, PS4, PS5, and everyone's still playing GTA 5, it's mental. But then PlayStation 2 had Vice City, uh, San Andreas, and I think maybe... Um, no, sorry. PlayStation 2 had 
GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas. So it had three GTA games on one console and now you've got one game on three different generations of console. Easy. Can't wait for GTA 6. Yeah, I'm, I blasted, I probably will play it, but I'm not a big fan of GTAs anymore. Like I used to be. I used to be like Vice City and San Andreas, mate. I used to play them all day long. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan anymore. I do like GTA 5 because obviously it's got a good multiplayer aspect to it, but I'm just, I don't know. I prefer um, sort of these sort of fantasy uh, style of games now a little bit. And like I said, I have sort of gone away from shooters. Like I said, I do play Fortnite now and again, but um, I wouldn't say I love it. Do you know what I mean? I only play Fortnite if. Uh, if like family wants to play it or whatever, do you know what I mean? Because it's easy to just get in, it's free to play and download and stuff. So yeah, sometimes I play that just for fun. But I wouldn't actively buy a shooter, to be honest. I bought Modern Warfare 3, actually, tell a lie. Um, quite recently when it came out, it was on sale. Still quite a lot of money. And yeah, it's all right, but... And that's the first Call of Duty I've bought since Black Ops 2, believe it or not. So that's like ages, isn't it? I used to really like the zombies um, and I still do to be honest but yeah I didn't the new Call of Duty I just thought oh it's just nothing's changed it's just the same old thing over and over and yeah but like everyone's got their preference and they but I think just shooters I don't know just not maybe I just ain't got the reaction time for it now I don't know Right, how many fish is that I've pulled out? It must be a few now. What the hell was that? Jubilee confetti pack. Right, so it's not we haven't got loads of fish to be fair. And but yeah, like I said, I think I've got it on about fifty or sixty fish. I think I've got the true flame style page. Everyone drop the uh, stream a like as well, please. And just let me know in the comments, you know, fire away some questions or whatever, or anything you wanna know. Everyone liking update 41. I do think it's been a good update, to be honest. Um, I do like the new Tarnished Nightmare set. I know it's being exploited, unfortunately. Um, Man, you are unlucky, ain't ya? Uh, I really thought you'd get the true flame sword because it don't seem a bad drop, to be honest. Um, but that's RNG for you, innit? At least you could just trade pages to people because it ain't fair, is it, really? But that's RNG for you, innit? But yeah, I, I still would say the other style pages seem to be harder than this one. Or maybe I was just lucky. But I heard some people, but you know, if people are telling the truth, do you know, oh, I go out on the second cast. Like oh, what? But it's certainly not an extremely rare drop by any means. I wouldn't have thought. I'm pretty confident it's just an okay drop. Is the exploit with tarnished only with the remote dot skill detonating skill, or is it something else as well? I think it's um, with another set, um, Oak Father or something. I can't remember. There was some combination. Nothing yet for me. Um, 
I think there's there, there's some combination that abuses the Tarnish Nightmare, and there's nothing wrong with the set itself, to be honest. I know it does instant damage, but so does Winterborn. Like, the set is not a problem, and I hope they don't fiddle with the set. It's just been, it's being synergised with other stuff that's abusing it. Um, and it's being turned into some sort of, like, bomb bursting set, which is not what it's designed for, obviously. So hopefully they change that, but hopefully not change the set. If they change the set, I'm going to be annoyed because, you know, people take the time to farm it, as myself, you know, and other people, and they want to use it for how it's designed for, which is it's designed just for a ganking set, to be honest. And if they then fiddle with it, just because some, some small minority of people have abused it in another way, then I will be annoyed. But, you know, Zoss has done that in the past, you know, something's really good and then they just, they just trash the set. But yeah, it's definitely the most used set in this new uh, update 41, without a doubt. It's just a real fun set to play. I like, I love sets with the animation as well, like a big proc animation. So hopefully they hopefully they leave it as it is. Um, but just change how it's being synergized with the proximity detonation. Yeah, I might do a necromancer build like I said. Sometimes I just, I just wake up and I think, oh, you know what, I might do a build like that. Or I might do a build like this. Um, I don't know whether it's going to make any difference being on the, the same fishing hole or different. I don't it's going to make much difference, to be honest. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Write in the comments if anyone has got the new uh, pages like the uh, True Flame Sword or the Staff of the Worms or the other ones. What ones have you guys got? Have you um, got any of the special pages yet? And also, that's what I forgot. The um, I swear someone said the Etheric Cipher drops out of the anniversary boxes. Imagine getting that as a drop. That's a drop I've never had. The two things I've never had is the Etheric Cipher and the uh, the Battlegrounds uh, Chef Recipe. I've had the one in Cyrodiil, but I've never had the Battlegrounds uh, Chef Recipe. Obviously the other recipe is Imperial City, so you can just buy that, so that's not a, a rare drop. Um, but it's obviously still worth a lot of money. Um, but yeah, let me know guys in the comments, like what, uh, have you found any of these rare style pages yet? Or you are you struggling or have you just, you found it easy? I said I found the true style page fairly easy. I struggled a bit with the worm one definitely, that was probably like 40 dolmens. I cannot wait to sell all these row and get me some gold. But yeah, I quite enjoy doing these long streams. I like, you know, I mostly do like build videos and stuff, but it's nice to do streams. Uh, and obviously help out other people in the community as well. Might as well uh, stay on the same fishing hole, I suppose. Like, I don't know if it's going to make much difference, but. but yeah, the anniversary is definitely one of the better events. You know, some of the events can be a little bit. Mm, Especially with the gold making and it to be like Jester's one, it's only the 
a minstrel cloth that's going to make money, to be honest, like good money. The Halloween event I, is still my favourite, but again, a veteran player, there's not really much to be gained. Um, but I would personally, if you want to make money from the Halloween event, it's definitely the masks, you know, the Scarecrow and the Spectre masks, definitely. Um, the New Life Festival, again, I don't think that's all that. Uh, fun, but like yeah, again, not really a good gold maker. I think Undaunted event, and probably yeah, the anniversary event are probably the top ones for gold making. I could be wrong, but that's just how I think would be good. Yeah, um, is everyone on Xbox or PlayStation or PC? Um, I was thinking of getting a PS5 to be honest, to make it a PS5 account, and then I'll be on. I'd technically be on all platforms, then I'll Xbox account, PC account, PS5 account, but like, I don't know. And then like, um, do I want to do another account? I don't know. I think PC is where it's at, to be honest. I think if you're going to be playing this game for the next five years, or whatever, I think you want to move to PC, or not move, or just have a PC account, because it is good on PC. And uh, on Xbox, you do sometimes struggle to find people to help you. Because um, it has sort of like waned a little bit over the years. Like if I want to get in the battlegrounds and I'm on PC, it, just, it does come up pretty quick any time of the day. Whereas Xbox, if I play at certain times of the day, I sometimes find you can't get a battleground. You're like, oh, it's going on, and you're just waiting and waiting. You're like, oh. So um, PC has definitely got a bigger player base. There is no doubt about that. So if you want more people to play with and help you. Um, PC is definitely the way to go and like I said you've got all the add-ons to help you make things easier so if you are a new player or considering playing this game I would definitely recommend um, to make a PC account if I could move all my Xbox stuff to PC I would but obviously I can't and Xbox is still going to be my main account because I can't move anything so I would just say I've not moved to PC, I've just got a PC account on the side. I want to have a presence on PC, but not. I wouldn't totally abandon this, because you you just put too much into it, you? how can you just abandon it? Um, and like on PC I wouldn't redo really all the collectibles, I'll just do the things that I specifically want to do, like a PvP build or, you know... My main is still going to be Xbox because it has to be because I just can't move it to PC, do you know what I mean? So I'm not just going to give up everything I've done on this just because I want to be on PC. I'll just have a PC account. Right, I'm going to fill in some fish and see if I get this. Uh, how many have I got? I've got about 70, let's go. Okay, let's not go. Oh, you got it. Nice one. Oh, yes. There we go. Well done. Right, let's fill it them fish then. So that was about, I'd say he probably, Relentless probably got that in, say, 70 fish, so give or take. I think I got it maybe about 60 or whatever. Oh, perfect row. So, yeah, it's roughly... I think it's about a 1 in 100 drop to be honest, give or take for fishing, so it ain't bad. Certainly not an extremely rare drop by any means. I can't believe they've got rid of the perfect row animation. Why would they do that? Someone tell me, why would they get rid of that nice little golden glow you get 
when you fillet a fish and then it used to give you a perfect row. It just says it in the corner there, perfect row. Oh, cheers, mate. Get rid of my animation. Yeah, well, well done, Relentless. Nice to get a style page. I might go and do some more boxes, what do you reckon? I'm happy to do some more anniversary boxes. I think I'm done with the fishing though. Oh, you're, I can see him filling his fish as well. I only got one perfect row, that was lame mate. I think I only got one. Let's check, let's check, let's check, let's check. I had six perfect row in here previously. Seven, yeah, I only got one. Still need the worm one. Yeah, we can do some more Dishan. Yeah, well done. I can't believe it's bound though. It's just, oh, ridiculous, mate. Right, let's get rid of this stupid sharp as night. Let's do it, mate. Can I help you? Right, let's sell some stuff, mate. You've got a nice clear inventory. As this is really getting me down. I cannot wait to use that set. Why am I keeping gormies of the fire? I've got sabatons of the fire. Sabatons, sabatons. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of uh, crafting modes, which is surprising. I thought I'd get a few more. I need to sell those rings as well. It's not too bad. One sec, the game's disconnected. Yeah, no worries. Right, 60 spaces left to do. So yeah, that's the, that's the fishing pretty much done then. Quickly sell my rope. No. Shall I? I quickly put on... Um, sell my bits quickly. While we, uh, Relentless is just uh, reconnecting. And then we'll hit some more anniversary boxes. Just give me the etheric cipher. That's what I need. Is it always this crowded? Welcome to the bank. Well, I think I'll, I won't sell the row yet. I think I'll just sell. I don't know what they're worth, so I need to check those. Have I got these recipes? Recipe already known, right, so. I don't know what they're worth, these, but I'll just chuck on them on just for a bit of gold. Sea sponge. Plague Doctor. Again, I'm not going to just overprice these. I want the stuff to sell, so. Well, I've, I've got that much stuff selling. I'm obviously mispricing some stuff. Right, that'll do. And we'll get back into the dolmens. See which one is dropping. No row yet. That's a shame, yeah. I suppose we did do a large amount of fishing. 
But yeah, on my previous stream, I got about, I think I had about 110 fish to fill it, and I got five rows. I was like, what the hell? Mate. I don't want you. I don't even know how you dismiss companions. That's how barely I use them. Right, so it's here. So, um, yeah, we'll do a few more boxes. I'm oh, still the same bloke, I think he's uh, farming here. I don't think I'm going to get anything like I'm going to get the box. I didn't get, I missed the uh, anniversary box though. You can dismiss them in the collections menu and then put them on quick slot. All right, cheers. You know, I said I don't. I don't use companions. I just. I'm not a fan of them, to be honest. I know that they're, they're okay in like Overland or if you're fighting a world boss on your own, but. And I like they. They've added perks, which is quite nice, but. I just generally don't find it any super duper use for them. I just think it, they're a little bit gimmicky. I suppose they're nice to have, like if you ain't got no one to play with, you know, and you just want a little extra help, they are. That's where they shine, I suppose, but. Um, I just, and I don't think they're, they're not really that, like the, the fishing one I think is a nice one to have, yeah definitely, because it does speed up the real time, so if you're a big fisher, then uh, it's a nice one to have. The one that gives the portfolios uh, from my urns and stuff, I thought was going to be good, but again, I'm not particularly amazed by it. I only used mine for levelling up alts in... Black rose pretty. Oh, yes, good eye. That's a good use for it, yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't know. And there's a Thieves one, which gives uh, special documents or something. Or something like that. Um, But again, the loot is just the loot is just not good enough. I think for what they give, they don't give good enough stuff. You know, to really be like, oh, I've got to have it on. I only got his will, she finally put. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, yeah, she ain't a bad companion. Actually, not too bad. Don't she give you unique drops on world bosses? So that's quite nice, actually. Um, I think she does get, yeah, then you get uh, Knight's Fallen Satchels or something like that, I don't know, I could be totally wrong on well bosses. So yeah, we're just going to keep doing some uh, anniversary box farming. Definitely a good place to farm is here. Like I said, don't go out of care. Um, if there's loads of people, which there always is, because it's the go-to farming spot. Because um, like I said, you might not get a tag on the boss because the anniversary box is dropped from the like, the end boss on the dolmen. And if it's millions of people, you might not get a tag. Um, so probably better off here, to be honest, because you just get a few odd players and they still go fairly fast and you're guaranteed a box every time still fishing keep it going you will get that uh, true flame Let's see if that's what you're after but for everyone to pretty much have the true flame within what a day of the anniversary drop in that is not an extremely rare drop then is it the way they, the way they advertised it and promoted it, 
was that it was going to be a super tough drop. Barely anyone was going to get it. You know, and I was going to do loads of streams fishing. You know, trying to get that elusive drop. And then it just drops like that. And then like, everyone's basically got it within a day. Manny Marco was a pawn. I just think it's just you stupid. Let's play. So really, like, you know, when Zoss say, oh, this drops from here, and like, you, you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt and do everything with your own experience because they, you know, they're basically wrong, you know, with what they're saying. Like an extremely rare drop, you would go, you'd be under the impression that's like a Ferric Cipher or um, maybe not that bad, but like, um, well, it's just a rare drop. The Sixth House Banner or like Vardenfell paintings, they're extremely rare drops, do you know what I mean? Like, and to then get it easy is just stupid. Like, phrase your things correctly you know and that's what they do they, they say things and it's just misleading and again also phrase if they're character banned or if they're tradable you know because again you've got to farm it to find out that like, shouldn't be the case it should say tradable bound these pages will all be banned I wouldn't have even probably bothered to be honest um, I might have still because they they were nice weapons the worm one and the the true flame but like some people might not bother if it ain't tradable some people just want to make the gold and you still will but um, not through the pages the Vardenfell wolf helm very hard to get just tried and gave up yeah um, I might go for the other ones to be honest uh, I'm not in a desperate need for them, like, especially when they're not tradable either. Like, and it's world bosses, isn't it? Are you on Xbox EU, by the way? Um, a better tomorrow. Uh, so I might jump over there, I don't know yet. Or I might do that on another stream, to be honest. I don't know. Because I know you've got the, the Somerset one, ain't you? And then, is it the Vardenfell bosses drops one or two or something? I forget now. If you're on Xbox EU, you can join us. I wish crap. Um, I wish cross platform was a thing though. So like anyone could just join anyone. Barbara's wolf helmet to be exact yeah are you on Xbox are you then or what what platform you're running uh, a better tomorrow are you on Xbox or PC I mean I'm, I know most people are probably PC I suppose I don't know But yeah, it's nice to get unique style pages and they're a difficult drop. I, I'm not bothered about it being a difficult drop in some of them. Um, but yeah, it's just tradable. Would have been good. PCNA here. Yeah, I'm on PCNA as well, but not on this um, stream. I'm, this is Xbox EU. Looks like the hound helmet from Game of Thrones. That's exactly what I thought. When I looked at the helmet, I'm thinking... Is this the hound... But yeah, it's quite a nice helmet actually, to be honest. Um, I just wish there'd be some value in them, apart from obviously having them for yourself. I do like the Game of Thrones, yeah, that's like, that's a good TV show. 
Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones is my two favourite uh, fantasy things. I wish they'd make a Game of Thrones MMO. I think that's the one franchise that has not had a proper game in it. And it desperately needs one. Could you imagine an Elder Scrolls game, like style game, but Game of Thrones? That would be amazing. I would drop this game in an art beat, mate. Nah, I'd probably still play this, but I mean, like, I would, I would definitely play that. Who would play that? A Game of Thrones style MMO like this in the Game of Thrones universe? Why have they not done that yet? That is literally would be a gold mine, wouldn't it? Could you imagine that the whole of Westeros and whatever, you know, the whole map in Game of Thrones universe, all explorable just like this, levelling up a character on that, that would be really good. Why has that not been done yet? You know, like Game of Thrones has been out since, what, 2011? 2011? 2011, yeah, so like, come on. Ten Kingdoms fighting, what's that? I know they did try and do it in the Game of Thrones MMO, but it was abandoned or something, because I remember looking into it, I thought, there's got to be one coming. Um, was awesome, but last season was trashed with bad script writing, except, yeah. Are you talking about House of the Dragon? I don't know what Ten Kingdoms is. Or is that just another TV show? I don't even know that. I do like the Vikings. did like the Vikings TV show a little bit. It's quite good. Witcher was good, but second season. Spoiler as well. Never watched The Witcher. Again, it's just one of the ones I just didn't get around to watching. But I will be watching the new Game of Thrones. I do like that. I did like they changed the characters, though. But did annoy me a little bit. Oh, oh to have... Yeah, to have ten kingdoms fighting one another. Yeah, that would be really good. I'm just surprised you like you think the absolute gold mine that would be to make a Game of Thrones MMO. The amount of um the amount of money that would make. Like, why has that not been done yet? Surely they've someone's gotta be developing one. I'm sure Amazon wasn't they or someone was gonna and it just never happened. The King of Worms served me poorly. Make some like crazy cats fighting outside. Yeah, like, why has that not happened? That, that would be awesome. Game of Thrones in the mo. The Lord of the Rings Online, like, again, I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings. Um, but again, the online, I did play it um, um, when I was younger. Um, but I just couldn't really get into it too much. I probably could play it now, but, like, I don't know. I've even played Star Trek online, I'm a big fan of Star Trek as well. Um, but they're all massive MMOs, aren't they? And they're so time consuming, aren't they? Like, you've got to pick one to play, it's hard to play loads and be good at all of them. Mate, watch first in the it's a must watch. Yeah, I know, it's like. Again, I'm not um, a big TV watcher, TV show watcher. There's so many TV shows I've not even seen. Uh, so I tend not to watch new stuff uh, as much. But yeah, I will get round to watching The Witcher, because I know that is meant to be quite good. Disappointed with the... Lord, I didn't watch the Lord of the Rings TV show, which... Anything Lord of the Rings I love, but I did not like... I think I watched one or two episodes of The Rings of Power, and that was just trash. I just did not like it. Has anyone else seen The Rings of Power? Like, TV show, just what was that? I think they bring out another season. Well, they've got her, haven't they? 
they put so much money into it, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I just did not like that at all. But I mean, it's nice that they are making more stuff in the Lord of the Rings universe, but yeah. But yeah, Game of Thrones MMO. Game of Thrones online, I'd be like, whoa. Take my money. Well, there seems to be a few more people here, actually. I think a lot of people have decided to take my advice and come to Deshaun. I think it is a better, definitely a better spot for the boxes. Dolman still go fairly quick, to be honest. Right, let's open some up, see what we got, see if we got anything juicy. But the best, I've, I've had an ethereal dust from uh, the boxes, which is quite nice. But where's my etheric cipher? And the motives don't, I haven't had a lot of motives, they don't seem to be that. Um, Dropping that often. <laughs> Coming off for a bit, yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that, to be honest, uh, for the Dolman. But yeah, it's been a. Yeah, I think I'll leave the stream there as well, to be honest. I think it's been pretty good, actually. Nice to do a chill stream. I've got what I wanted. I've got what I needed. Let me just go and see that staff quickly. I need to see that in its proper glory. Because I've got some rubbish die on it, which is just killing it for me. So I need to quickly see that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show uh, the stream, uh, you guys, what both they look like, the ones I've got so far. Uh, so if we just go to, oh my god, what outfit is that? I, was, oh, I think I'll do like a Wolverine thing. Um, where is it? So I'll show the staff, which is down here. Is it down here somewhere? You're the wrong class, staff of the worm, staff of the worm. Where is it? Maybe it's on the Mana Marco or something. Mate, where is my staff? Oh my god, I can't find it. Give me my staff now. I don't know what it's called. I've always had all stuff. That's not stuff. That's a nice stuff as well. I like that. Oh, the skull one. Mate, what is this stuff called? Oh, that that is a nice one as well. The manic maniac. I'm going to say it, Manacle Jester Staffs. That's a good one. Like, where is his staff? I swear it should be under... Worm Coal. Wait, I'm getting annoyed now. Oh, there it is, look. Why is it not in the thingy? Normally when it's collected, it's all up with the other collections. It's down here. Right, so if I just pop that on, get rid of them stupid dies. Oh yeah, that's that's a good staff. That is a nice staff. Yeah, that's definitely going on my Necromancer. 
and probably my night blade as well. It's bug says unavailable. Is it? Oh no, don't. Don't say that to me. I should be able to apply it, I'm okay, I think. I don't know why it's down there. I was like, what the hell? And then if I show you the sword as well. Where is it? Collections, weapon styles, one-handed. I know this one is actually in the collection. It's not at the bottom. Oh no, I can't find this thing. Why can I not locate anything? Right. Need swords. True flame, true flame, true flame. There we go. My outfit. The true flame sword, yeah, look at that. It is a nice sword. That's going to be nice on like night blades or something. What the hell? Feathered mace? Yeah, so I'm glad I've got it. It is a nice thing and the staff is nice as well. Um, you know what, I'm just going to do it now. I might put it on my necromancer. I should put it on him as well actually. It'll look good on him. Where's my necromancer? Oh, oh, I ain't running. Is he running staff on back? Oh, I can't even remember. Let me quickly look. Quick time look. I can't remember if it's running sword and bold. I'm running dual wield. Now I'm really confused. Oh yeah, the black rose, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Right, I'll, I'll leave that one. I'll sort that character out. I will be back for you, Necro. I will be back. Another bug is the headless character models. Yeah, this game is full of bugs. I will be back, Necro. Right, let's put the staff on this character then, because it's going to be nice. see what the staff looks like let's check I've got money for the die yeah I have so what is that noise outside is it? it's raining getting shook right um we will go and see what the die was the horse does not match this character because I'm forever changing the characters looks and appearances and builds Things don't match up. Right, that is not the, the outfit station, mate. We will go... No outfit. What is my outfit? I've got this bit of some ridiculous one. Oh, it's not too bad. Not sure about that helmet, though. I did like it, but now I don't. Hey, that's not too bad. I normally always go to know what I'm going to pick anyway. Um, uh, I'll just do the staff. Let's not get sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. By the um, the helmet, I'm trying to sort out the helmet. I'll sort out another time. So where's my staff? Oh, I've got the Jester staff, don't it? That is nice. My Jester's festival's over now, boy. Oh, where's my... wait, 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 wait? What the hell was that? That's not collected. Mate, I'm getting so confused. Where is this? Oh my, what are you doing? What do you mean not collected?
Why did it say not collected? And that's not even the staff, is it? Mate, I'm getting really... I think you're right, someone said it's bugged, isn't it? It's bugged, so it's unavailable. I just I don't know what's going on to be honest. I'll have to put that on. I swear that it's it's account bound. May this game just test you, didn't it? Collections, weapon styles, staff. That is not the staff. I'll do this another time. Let's try the sword. I'm going to try the sword. I have no idea what's going on. It's only character banned. If that is the case, I'm definitely not farming anymore. Right, let's go to... Is War Maiden a good set in your opinion? Uh, War Maiden is good. It's not my go-to. Um, but I think it was it do it buffs magic damage, didn't it, I think. It's nice on a Templar. I know that because a lot of Templar is magic damage abilities. So War Maiden, yes. Um, I would recommend it on a Templar. Magic a Templar. Definitely. Not something I utilise much. But um, I used to back in the day a lot of the ones like that. But uh, it's definitely okay. Man, I've got some crazy outfits. Right, let's see if I can get True Flame here. You better be here, mate. You better be here. I'm going to be really annoyed. Yes. Thank you. So what's going on with the staff, then? What is going on with that staff? Look at the true flame swords, they look good. Again, this is another weird character costume. I was going to make a poison night blade. I just sort of abandoned it. What's, what colour shall I do? I've got most colours. I could make them look like really worth a lot of money. Make them gold. But you get a bit of gold with the with the the red. I don't know why. All that looks good. Does it look good? It looks like a blooming Power Rangers sword now to me. Uh, I know what to do. I will get what the actual sword looks like so it's a uh, gold with a red hilt in it here so let's try that let's try and mimic what it actually looks like so say so we go for well, it's hard to do when you've got like a poison active and we want the red where is the red even no I don't want the red there I don't want to put that right, so I'm getting confused, right, so that's the sword hill. And I want gold. 
yeah I want gold like that that's how it looks and you want red which I don't think is gonna work where is the red oh it's there oh my god I made it look like it that's about as close as you're probably gonna get Perfect. No! Mate, this game always knows how to test you. <laughs> Worst case. That's funny. Love your builds, Gloom. Thank you, Lou. How many people do that, though? You're like, oh, I'm going to make a, just change my thing out for you get just how you want. And then you ain't got the gold. You're like, oh, why? Why does it even cost gold? I do not know. Or you should be able to save it and then come back. Because now what? Come back and remember what you've done. And like, I've done that before. Like, literally made the whole character um, outfit from scratch. You know, you go through everything. The whole body, every body piece. Every die perfectly how you want it. And then you forget to put the gold, and you're like, damn it. And you've got to redo the whole thing. So now I've got a, like, well, it's just a sword, so I probably should be able to remember. But yeah, when it's the whole thing, you're like, oh, why? Right, equipment. Come on, let's go again. Sword, 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 sword. Come on. Here we go. I really need to do that poison build. There's so many builds I want to do. Uh, there we go. We've got the true flames. Or we get the dyes together. And then it was the gold in the middle, I believe. Yep. And then the nice red hilt yeah that looks like the true flame swords i've done it do you still have star pages unlearned uh yes i do i don't have a complete collection of or even near the star pages learned um i just have quite a lot but again like you can see i'm missing quite a lot as well i've probably got less than half the actual full collection Yes, I've got my sword. Look at that. That is looking nice. I don't even know what build I've even got on this, to be honest. Oh, it's high pen. High-ish pen. Oh, which night? Flame Blossom. Dirty Flame Blossom. One of the best ganking sets in the game. Do you... Uh, oh, I've read that. So, so there we have it. I don't know what's going on with that staff page, though. That's annoying me. Let's quickly log back into my main sorcerer that actually collected the page because obviously I collected the sorcerer, um, the sword replicas on my sorcerer, but I can go to other characters and apply them. So where's the staff? Oh my god, I lost the staff now as well. What is going on? Mate, I'm not re earning this. It's disappeared, it's fully disappeared. That's not the staff. I don't know what's happened with this stuff. I literally just had it on this character. And now I can't find it. Man, this game is buggy as hell. I 
I do not know where the, the staff of the worms is banished. I'll definitely use the star page because I've seen it. My staff of the worms is no more. Why is it coming up that? That's not the one. I'm not too keen on that. Anyway. But I do want, sort of want the staff that I earned. <laughs> Whatever that will be. Oh, hold up, hold up. There it is. Right. It's under the word staff. That's probably why I couldn't find it. So. Staff of the Worms replica. You're just getting confused. Right, so now we go back to my Nightblade. Oh my god. I really thought it was bugged then and I lost it. I'm looking for Worm Cult, Worm Staff, Mana Marco Staff. Never bothered looking for Staff of the Worms. hiding from me probably not in that colour I'll just make it look an evil looking staff even that like that's pretty good to be honest let's just see what happens I'm not going to have it gold but I just want to see what it looks like so the sc that's the skull that's the oh what's wrapped around the skull that's quite nice and then say the staff is black. So, oh, I can change the skull colour to say a nasty red. Oh, that is good. Look at that. This is well worth getting. The staff one. Uh, what do you mean, the other staff ones? That red is good. I do like that. And then I think... Or should I have the skull white and then the red wrapped around it? Oh yes, mate. Oh yes, that is what I'm having, mate. Yeah, that stuff is nice. If I go to my loading screen so I can actually see it properly. What is it like? Yeah, that is what you call a necromancer evil star. That is good. Yeah, that's going to be really good on it. It's nice on the Nightblade as well, but yeah, that's going to be really nice on a necromancer. Right, that's it, guys. I'm ending the stream there and then. It's been a good stream. Thank you to everyone that's tuned in um, and I'll see you in the next one.